Hey everybody, this video brings us out to Disney's Animal Kingdom. I love it here so much. This park, for a lot of people, is not on their favorite lists. I find that when I ask people, what's your all-time favorite park, or, or give me your list of your, your favorite Disney parks, this one, for some reason, comes kind of low on, on a lot of people's lists. My list, no, this, this is high. I love Animal Kingdom. I mean, yes, okay, maybe it doesn't have a ton of attractions. Maybe there's not a ton of stuff to do here, but I kind of disagree. I can spend the entire day here having fun. I love Animal Kingdom. In my opinion, Disney's best themed, most beautiful theme park. It is, it is pretty amazing, but I want to talk about something today. I want to show you guys something. I want to document something because unfortunately, one of my, if not my absolute favorite part, I'm going to say no, this is, oh my gosh, look. <laughs> this is my absolute favorite part of Disney's Animal Kingdom. I love Dino Land USA. And unfortunately, for a long, long time, there's been this rumor that Dino Land USA was not gonna be around anymore. They're gonna get rid of it, tear it down, or retheme it, or just whatever. Dino Land USA was no longer going to be a theme. I kept hoping maybe possibly that it was just rumors, that the rumors would never come true, it would never happen, but unfortunately, it seems like the rumors are now are now truth. Unfortunately, Dino, Dino Land USA looks like it's gonna be no more, or at least not here, in the same capacity that it is now. I'm not entirely sure if everything is going to go, or if just part of it is going to go, but from what I've seen from, from concept art, it looks like pretty much all of Dino Land USA is no longer going to be here anymore, which for me breaks my heart because again, I love Dino Land USA. Not only do I think it's just a really cool section of the park, but my son loves it. He has loved Dino Land ever since he was a little kid. We used to take him over here all the time. He would play on all the all the things you could play on. He would go into the, the boneyard and play in there. He loved the attractions they had here. It was his favorite section of Animal Kingdom, and it very quickly became my favorite section of Animal Kingdom. And I've talked about, I've talked about Dino Land USA before. I've told you guys that I think it's amazing. I think the theming is so cool. I've taken you into Chester and Hester's to show you the theming inside there. But I also mentioned in all those videos, there's a really cool backstory. And unfortunately, it seems like a lot of people just don't know because as we discussed yesterday when I told you the the backstory of Disney Springs, the Imagineers, when they design these lands, come up with these backstories. They come up with these big, elaborate stories of why these lands exist and how they were created and why, why they're a thing. And there is a really interesting backstory when it comes to Dino Land USA. And I want to discuss that backstory with you guys today. Because again, I've, I've brought it up, I've mentioned it, but I figured it's finally time to do an actual video about this because again, the backstory is pretty interesting. It's pretty unique and it just made me love, when I found out about this backstory, it made me love Dino Land USA even more. When I first came down here, I think my first time, I think my first time in, in Dino Land USA would have been in the year 2000 and I didn't really think much about it. I didn't really think much about Animal Kingdom. And then in 2010, I came back down and I really fell in love with Animal Kingdom and really fell in love with the Dino Land USA. And then a few years later, I found out about the whole backstory and that, that was it, it was, it was set in stone. I love Dino Land USA. So again, I wanna tell you guys about the backstory. I wanna show you guys around because in the not too distant future, this won't be here anymore. So if you're a big fan of Route 66 or just traveling in general, you like the idea of just traveling on the road you love roadside attractions, you love sightseeing, you love the, the open highway, if you will. That's what to me, because I love that kind of thing, that's what to me makes this so fascinating because the story goes that this town started as just a small highway town. In fact, we're actually walking on that highway right now. Look at this. Again, things, little, little details people miss. I get into every day just like hundreds, if not thousands, of people walk down this little walkway here and don't notice the 
the white lines on the side, the solid, no, solid into, into a passing zone, yellow lines, again, white line over there. There's the guardrails right here. We're walking on a road right now. This is the highway that went through the town. We are now walking through a town and walking on the highway that went through that town. You can even see there's road signs over here. Roadside attraction, 150 feet. There's a 25 mile an hour speed limit sign. Again, these really cool little details like this. And again, most people probably just look past or they think nothing really about. Maybe some people do notice this road, but they, they probably don't really take it in. They probably don't realize that this design, this whole idea of this road is here for a very specific reason. The reason why there's all these road signs up everywhere and the road is here and the guardrails are here and the, it's painted and everything like that. The reason why all this is here is for a very specific reason. Again, this started off as a little highway town, but in 1947, dinosaur bones were found. Some amateur dinosaur fossil hunters found some dinosaur bones here in town. And that is where the story begins. That is how the story of Dino Land USA begins with amateur fossil hunters finding some dino fossils right here in 1947. You can see the road goes all the way down here. It does dead end down here. You can't go any further, but still, I want to bring you guys down here. There's a sign that says, not a through street, Diggs County, US, 498. And this is also something I feel a lot of people don't see are these signs over here, these big giant billboards. When visiting Diggs County, see the Dino Institute. Visit Chester and Hester's Dinorama. Look at that. Adventure into the past in dinosaur. And then welcome to Diggs County, where fossils are your way of life. Chester and Hester's Dinorama parking lot was 50 cents, but once this town blew up, they, uh, they changed that to $2. Pretty awesome. Get more guardrails here. The story is just, again, it's so fascinating. I love the stories that the Disney Imagineers come up with. And the story of Dino Man USA is pretty awesome. Again, in my opinion, just makes Dino Land USA all that more amazing. So after the first fossils were found here, then more dinosaur fossil hunters started to show up. And before you knew it, this was kind of like the premier place to find your dinosaur fossils. And the town of Diggs County, Diggs County became the place to come and find your dinosaur fossils. It became a very, very, very popular place, a hotspot for dinosaur fossil hunting. And then after a while, the Dino Institute moved in and set up shop and actually opened a fossil discovery park where you could come and dig up your, your dinosaur fossils. That was, that was what they originally did when they, they set up camp here in Diggs County. Look at this guy right here. There's so many cool little details like this. It's really awesome concrete dinosaur here. We'll talk about Chester and Hester's in a couple of minutes. I definitely want to show you guys that, but again, this became the, the hot spot, the place to, to dig up your dinosaur fossils. And a dinosaur fossil digging park was, was set up here by the Dino Institute. And right over here, what we're looking at right here is where all the, the dinosaur fossil hunters and whatnot would, would set up their, their camp. This was an old, an old fishing lodge turned into a restaurant and turned into a, a place for everyone to, to set up their, their little campsites, if you will. And if you go inside here, which I will take you inside here, there are all kinds of really cool things on the walls and whatnot. I mean, there's a, there's a dinosaur bone right here. So this was the old fishing lodge turned into restaurant Restaurantosaurus. Look at that. You can see it says restaurant and then a saurus just tacked on to the end. Home of the Impossible Burger. There's chairs set up here. 
you can see there's a giant bow and arrow. There's a giant bow right there, and there's arrows with like suction cup, suction cup, um, where they, what are they, what are those, the plungers, suction, cu suction cup plungers stuck on the end. You can see all the beer cans up there as well, and the, the different shoes and people's laundry are hanging up there. If you look over here, you can see on top of the, the water tower, there's a bullseye. That's what they were shooting at. So somebody would be up there, they would get the, uh, the plunger arrows, put them into the bucket, you could wheel them back, back up to the roof, and then shoot them back again at the, at the water tower. Again, things people don't notice. You can see there's one arrow right there, somebody got close to the bullseye, and then one arrow down there on the wood as well. Again, little cool, interesting details. There's a basketball net with an actual basketball stuck up there on the hoop. <laughs> all kinds of cool little details. Now, I'm gonna take you inside now and show you around a little bit. People are eating in here. We gotta be kind of um, respectful, but inside Restaurant Asaurus, again, the theming is just, it's amazing. I honestly don't even know what to begin showing you guys. There's so much different decor on the walls. Things like dinosaur fossils and photos. There's a field kit, a box, all the way from Italy, right there. More pictures, giant dinosaur fossils. Somebody's boots are up there. There's a, there's a Donald duck right, right there. Little hidden Donald right there. More fossils, all kinds of pictures that are drawn. There's a, there's a map over here of where all the different scientists and fossil hunters have come from right there. All sorts of other drawings. There's a Godzilla poster. I love eating right here, right underneath the amazing Godzilla poster. That is so cool. And look at this up here. There's a whole loft area. There's a little like bunk area there, like a, like, a, like a loft area where you can sit and read your books. There's another really cool movie poster up there. There are bunk beds that are up there. I would love to go up there someday and just explore this area and see what all the pictures are, see what all the postcards are, see what else is up there that I can't actually see from down here. There are clothes hanging on the clotheslines. There's an old costume from restaurant Asaurus. That is so neat. Little tiny details. Look at the, the Christmas lights, the hip joint. <laughs> See? Pointing right there to the hip. All sorts of books. There's shot glasses and alcohol bottles up there. Again, things people just walk right past. Don't even take the, take the time to look at any of this stuff. There's a bunch of different mugs. More photos of people actually digging up fossils. Again, I love the C9 Christmas lights. And then you walk in here, because again, this was an old fishing lodge, but they, they built onto it. They added things like this little room here, which again, the decor is insane. There's a really cool game over here that you can see people were playing. There's all sorts of little plaques for people who have played the game. Dinosaurs with sunglasses and rocks with people's names on them. There's a boom box up there, a bunch of board games, some Mickey ears there on the skull, dinos at large. They've been playing badminton here. There's a bunch of shuttlecocks in the net. And just the, 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 the decor is just mind blowing. That is why I love Dino Land USA alone, just for the decor. I mean, look at all this stuff. People's like tacks are all up on the wall there. More pictures, more dinosaurs. Dinosaurs playing volleyball right there. There's a Dinosaur Junior poster. There's a tricycle. The land of time for God, speed limit sign, it's a kayak, really cool. Stego, it's a dying of thirst, Stego soda. <laughs> Neon sign there. That is really cool. There's a television and a guitar. And then you can see they even cut off the side of this and build onto like an old Airstream here. Look at that. This is an old Airstream camper that they use. Again, this is another part I love sitting in. I'm really surprised that there's actually seating in here right now, like nine times out of 10 when I come here, there is no seating here. You cannot, you cannot sit in here. This place is very, very popular, but you can see the old screen door for the Airstream. Here's the, a, a jukebox they put here with all kinds of records. I wonder, Motorcycle Mama and um, that's the Commodores. Um, I think it says getting it, if I'm not mistaken, is what that says. This is so cool. Again, just the amazing theming. Look at the, the mushroom containers there. So awesome, so cool. And this is just like a small little part of the, the restaurant. All kinds of soda cans up there. There's some dice that are stuck up on the, 
the air conditioning, people's bronze boots up there. I mean, I could honestly just spend the next like three hours showing you every little tiny detail of this restaurant. Because if you, if you read all those different plaques and all those different signs, some of them are, are Easter eggs of people who were involved with the building of the park. Some of them are, are just fun pieces of decor. It is just so interesting. And again, this is just one section. There's a whole nother side to this restaurant where you could eat and it's, it's, it, the decor is just as amazing. Look at that. Dino Land, you at, wait, hold on. I feel like I should. There we go. <laughs> Dino Land, USA, and a dinosaur made out of pepper and salt. Again, the extra little touches the cast members do. I, I, did I mention I love Dino Land, USA? So like I said, the story goes that this was an old fishing lodge and this section of the restaurant really does have that old fishing lodge feel, though I guess now it's been turned into a dinosaur lodge, if you will. You can see the old fireplace over there with all the different fossils on it. There's all kinds of things up on the rafters. There's even a really cool picture here, a painting of dinosaurs, I guess, being attacked by some kind of pterodactyl or whatever those, those flying beasts are. You can see there's a ton of them in that painting. But look over here, how cool is this? It's a wigwam motel and that is Walt Disney himself feeding, feeding some dinosaurs. How cool is that? Again, I could just spend hours upon hours upon hours of showing you every little detail, every little fossil, every little picture and whatnot, because every little picture, every little fossil, every little plaque, every little detail really does help tell a story. And there are some really fascinating stories with all of this. I could probably just do a video just based on each picture and each plaque alone. There's so much cool stuff. So you come out of the sort of old fishing lodge area and then into this area right here. It's like one of those World War II bunkers. Look at this. Somebody painted a dinosaur using grease and their, their hands and their thumbs. How cool is that? This is like the garage area. You see all the old tools on the wall there. More grease painted dinosaurs all kinds of things up in the rafters. There's an old an old engine up here, oil bottles up there, hubcaps on the wall back here. Just so cool. And then through here is the restaurant Osaurus Lounge. You can actually get drinks and stuff in here. But again, look at this, it's like an old tent. How cool is that? All the old maps and, and tools up there. Very, very awesome, I love it. The fact that you, you walk into these different sections and each, each section feels like it's something different because that's how it's meant to feel. It's meant to feel like this, this, this old fishing lodge has just been continuously built onto. Again, back into the tent, there's people's like sleeping bags over there and backpacks, more tools and whatnot. There's food up there, cans of, of food. So, so awesome. I just, again, I love the decor of Restaurant Asaurus and the story that it all helps tell. <laughs> just so, so cool. The, just the time that the Imagineers put into designing this. It just, it, it blows my mind. Look at that. It's an IR Smart, so an, air, an Airstream. International Osaurus, I love it. So you can actually eat inside the old Airstream. Eat here. So, so cool. All right, <laughs> that was Restaurant Osaurus. I could do a whole video just on Restaurant Osaurus in of itself, but we're here to talk about all of Dino Land USA and how amazing of a land this is and how I do not want it to ever go away. Though unfortunately, supposedly, it is on its way out. But just look at the design here. There's the, again, like the World War II sort of structure we were in. There's the tent we were in right there. They did not have to do this. They could have just made a square building and said, yep, that's, uh, 
that's the dinosaur restaurant. <laughs> they could have they could have just done that, but they didn't. They made it look like an old fishing lodge with a bunch of different structures over time built onto it. Like this kind of thing just blows my mind. All right, so moving on from Restaurant Astoris, although again, I could talk about Restaurant Astoris probably for the next like seven hours. All right, we, we've got to move on though. So here we are at the Dino Institute, where, which houses the, the dinosaur attraction, Dinosaur the Ride, or as it used to be called, Countdown to Extinction until the dinosaur movie came out and they, they kind of re-themed it, changed it a little bit to, uh, to fit the, um, the IP of the, of the movie that was new at the time. But the story goes that Chronotech, which partnered with the Dino Institute, they discovered how to travel through time. They, they discovered the, the time rover that could take you back to the time of, of the dinosaurs. And that's where we get the really cool attraction. It's a really fun attraction that apparently will be rethemed to Indiana Jones, which I've got mis mixed feelings about. I love Dinosaur the Ride, but I really love me some Indiana Jones. So although I think they should have just kept Dinosaur the Ride and just put a whole new Indiana Jones attraction, that would have been really cool. It's apparently not what's gonna happen, but I wanna show you this as well. This is a replica of Sue, the most complete Tyrannosaurus Rex skeleton ever found. This is a replica of the one they have in Chicago. That is so cool. It says Tyrannosaurus Rex Sue. This fossil cast is an exact replica of Sue, the most complete Tyrannosaurus Rex skeleton ever found. Named for her discoverer, Sue was found in South Dakota on August 12th, 1990. Sue is 90% complete, a fossil find of enormous importance to the study of dinosaurs. Look at that, that is so cool. Really neat that Disney has this here. Again, unfortunately, I feel like people just walk past this. I saw a lady a minute ago just leaning against this. I guarantee you, she came over here, leaned up, it's kind of, kind of warm, leaned up against this and just didn't bother to read it, didn't bother to even look to see what that is, had no idea the importance of, of this dinosaur fossil. Again, this just being a replica, but still really, really cool that this is here and that Disney has a replica of Sue here for people to, to see. This is this is part of Disney I love. It's the, the science and the history and the knowledge and the learning that, that there is at Disney. Unfortunately, I just, I feel like Disney's shying away from that a little bit due to the fact that just, you know, kids, kids don't want that. Kids don't want to learn. They don't want science. They don't want technology. They just want to go on the, they want to go on dinosaur. They want to go on the fun rides. They want to go into the dinosaur dig area and, and dig up some bones and, and whatnot. I mean, kids just, kids just want to have, just like girls, kids just want to have fun. And I get it. Don't get me wrong. But I feel like regardless, the, the history and the science should not ever leave Disney. It should always be a part and should always be out there in the forefront. So yes, maybe most kids don't care. They, I literally just stabbed myself on it. Be careful. Literally just stabbed myself on that plant. <laughs> There's a hole in my finger now. <laughs> Ow. The plants, if the dinosaur, if the dinosaurs don't get you, the plants will. <laughs> anyway, so science, technology, history should always be in the forefront at these parks, in my opinion. But sadly, I think Disney's kind of shying away from that a little bit. But regardless, if a kid doesn't want to learn, fine. But maybe the dad can say, do you know what this is? Do you know who this is? That's how I became so interested in, in history. There's, there's a, a, Ash Ketchum, by the way, right there. That's how I became so interested in history and knowledge and whatnot. It's because my dad used to take me places. He used to take me to museums. He used to take me to all these different areas and say, hey, do you know what this is? Do you know what was done here? Like this movie was filmed here. This historical thing happened here. This this happened there and th this was this and that was that. And do you know the history of this thing? My dad would always tell me that kind of stuff and it got me really into learning about all this stuff. It got me into history. It got me into traveling. And I think more parents should do that to their kids. I do that to my son. My my son knows that, Sue. My, my son gets to know all this stuff. Whether he, he actually, it actually sinks in whether he retains any of this information, I don't know. But I'd like to think that in like X amount of years from now, he'll come back here with his kids. And if Sue is still here, he'll go, ooh, do you know what that is? My dad told me all about Sue when I was, when I was nine years old or whatever. I love it. So cool. So we've got the Dino Institute where you can take a time rover 
back to the time of the of the dinosaurs. But just be careful because you might not make it. You might not make it. We made it. I knew you would. <laughs> Probably the attraction. You'll figure out what I'm talking about. All right, once again, moving on from the Dino Institute over here to Chester and Hester's, which used to be a gas station and looks like a gas station. You can see where the, the, the doors are right there, where you would take your cars in. It even says gas. What's that say? 28.9 cents a gallon. But now it says our T-Rex souvenirs are king. Again, little tiny details like that, like painting over an old gas sign because again, the story goes, once this whole area blew up and became a, a mecca for dinosaur fossil hunters, Chester and Hester's went, hold on, wait a minute, let's get out of the, um, hold, whoa, wait, wait, wait. It's the goof. <laughs> hey, Goofy. That is awesome. So the story goes that, oh God, I love Disney <laughs> Animal Kingdom. Even the the costumes that the uh, the Animal Kingdom characters wear are just really, really cool. So again, the story goes that once this whole area became the mecca for, for dinosaur fossil hunting, Chester and Hester went, wait, hold on, let's, let's get in on this. Let's turn our gas station into a souvenir shop. So pretty awesome. This really does look like an old gas station, even with the, the old gas sign right there, but had been turned into a dinosaur fossil gift shop. And the theming inside here, it is just so epic. Look at this. As somebody who loves like organized chaos, I mean, this really speaks to me. Look at the ceiling. There's a train that goes around though. I don't believe that, oh, the, the train is working. Sometimes it's working, sometimes it's not. Right now the train is working. There's a, there's a Woody inside, the, uh, inside one of the train cars all sorts of things, a big T-Rex here, all sorts of things hanging from the, the train tracks. There's like a blow up dinosaur, all kinds of toys and knickknacks. There's a cave up there that the train actually goes through. I mean, look at this cool collection. I mean, Chester and Hester really outdid themselves with their amazing tacky decor. Of course, more movie posters, the land unknown at the Earth's core all kinds of cool posters up there. But I just love the train that goes around the top of the building. That is so, so neat. There it is right there. There's the train. You see it come around. Like I said, there's Woody inside there. All sorts of little Easter eggs like that. There's a Mickey right there. Look at the, like the dinosaur, the plastic dinosaurs, or maybe dinosaur erasers. I think those are dinosaur erasers that they have going around up there. There's dinosaur frisbees over there. Again, all sorts of other postcards and posters on the wall, tons of pictures. Like, I don't even know who that is, but I'm sure there's a story behind who that is. More fossils, more names on the wall, more plaques on the wall. Just all sorts of little things that go into the storytelling of of Dino, Dino Land USA. So say, pick our bones. So cool. More interesting decor up here. Look at the dinosaur made out of, out of bottle caps. I gotta say, out of all the different, I mean, Restaurantosaurus, pretty top notch, in my opinion, for, for decor, but I like the, the tackiness of Chester and Hester's the most. I always come, in, come into Chester and Hester's every time I'm, I'm here, not necessarily to shop, but just to, just to stare up at the ceiling. I have to come in here and look at the ceiling every single time I'm at Animal Kingdom. It is just too cool. So again, this was an old gas station, but then converted into a dinosaur fossil souvenir shop. Okay, so walking out of Chester and Hester's, um, well, actually, we're seeing Daisy Duck. Hi, Daisy! I love your glasses. Those are amazing. Oh, my gosh. Is that a pterodactyl? That is so cool. Have fun. Have a good day. That is awesome. Again, the, the outfits the characters wear here in Dino Land USA are just so amazing. But look at the, the sign up there. Dinosaurs. Was that say? Say. Dinosaurs say. Oh, the dinosaurs say goodbye. That's actually kind of 
sad to think about since we are kind of saying goodbye to Dino Land USA going out of extinct sale and prehistoric prices mammoth deals where what's it say we're we're oh erupting with gifts <laughs> that's cool stop your motor see look at that stop your motor no smoking because right here is where the gas pumps would have been for Chester and Hester's gas station so I love again oh my gosh look at the old Epcot's I, I never noticed this the old Epcot sticker up there that is cool fun little Easter egg I have never noticed before that is awesome so again I love the, 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 just the little details the little thing to make you realize that this was once a gas station. There's a, like a fender over there. You can see there's mufflers over there. It says, you don't need to go to the end of the earth. You're here now. Just again, cool little details. Another little garage over, over here. And Chester and Hester's dinosaur treasures. That is neat. But, we're not done with Chester and Hester's yet because again, when you walk out of Chester and Hester's, you see this. Something that a lot of people have bad things to say about, they find tacky, but again, the story behind this is pretty cool. Although, hold on, before we walk over there, I wanna show you Donald Duck over here. Look at that. I've actually got my picture taken before with the, uh, the Dino Land USA Donald Duck. <laughs> that is cool. So this is Chester and Hester's Dino-rama. Look at this. Look at the cool giant dinosaurs here with the belly buttons. Yeah, that dinosaur has a belly button. I love I love it. That is cool. We got a pterodactyl up there. So again, a lot of people find this area cheesy because basically what it is, it's a bunch of carnival games. You feel like you're in a carnival. There's the lights up there, the light bulbs up there strung from a main pole. You can see there's a little, little attraction over here. Primeval World used to be right here. They took that down a couple of years ago. Primeval World was a, a roller coaster, but it was very much like a, a typical kind of um, circus roller coaster. It was, a, it, was a, it was a wild mouse, but a wild mouse with a twist because the, the cars would actually spin. So if you're like me and you easily got dizzy, you rode that attraction once and never rode it again. I've only been on that. I, I was only ever on that attraction once. The spinning of it, um, I, I was done. But again, this whole area has a very carnival feel and for a reason because Chester and Hester took their parking lot. This is a parking lot. Look, there's parking lines here. This is a parking space and that's a parking space. That's a parking space. There, you're not allowed to, to park. We are in a parking lot right now. The parking lot of Chester and Hester's gas station that they converted into a little amusement park slash carnival. So, Again, lots of people see this and they go, ah, just some weird little, you know, carnival dinosaur ride. And really, carnival games? Like, c come on. Like, who, who wants carnival games at, a, at an amusement park? I do when the story behind why carnival games exist at an amusement park makes complete sense. Look at the, the tires down here. Look at the really cool Timon and Pumbaa. I think it's a popcorn bucket and then a sipper. I don't have those. Those are cool. But you can see here is that game where you, have, you hit the, the little thing on the bottom there with a hammer and it shoots the, the piece of metal up and you had to hit the, hit the uh, I'm sure this has a name to it. You had to hit the, um, the bell there. You get little cool things like that. I mean, obviously it's not functioning, but that is really cool. There's like a whack-a-mole type game over here. It says whack, to say whack a pack, Wow, what's that say? Pacasilla for, I don't, I have no idea what that says. <laughs> Comments down below, but basically whack-a-mole there. There's the game, fossil fueler, look at that. I love it, the fossil fuels. <laughs> that is kind of cool and kind of disturbing all at the same time. It's that game where you shoot the water into, into the little area there. And you, whoever gets their thing filled up first wins. But you can see the different gasoline emblems there. This is the game my son loves. My son won this game last time we were here. This is Mammoth Marathon. This is the game where you roll the balls and you get the, the mammoths, or usually horses, but in this case, the mammoths to go across there. Yeah, this whole thing was full, full of people. My son won this, he got like the biggest prize. It was pretty cool to see him do that. This is Comet Crasher. This is a game where you simply just throw a ball into, into these little holes here. 
and whatever color you get determines what kind of prize, how big of a prize you get. This is where you get the tickets. There's another little gift shop over here. So again, cool little details. You can see the, again, the lines painted on the actual ground because this was the parking lot to Chester and Hester's gas station before they turned it into a, a fossil souvenir shop to cash in on the craze of, of the fossil hunters coming into town. And now the parking lot is a carnival. It is a, in a little amusement park that Chester and Hester set up. You can even get your photos here. Look at these. I, I feel like I should get one of these. Well, they all say Animal Kingdom. I was kind of hoping one would say, oh, they do have a Dinorama one. I might have to get those. That is cool. All right, we might be getting a photo. I kind of want a Chester and Hester's Dinorama photo before I leave here, but just really cool. So again, there are a lot of people who see this and go, ugh, carnival games at Disney. Like, and they just, I, I've seen so many people badmouth this section of the park. Again, no, this is cool. The history of this is so cool. Just look at the ground. People don't look at the ground. They don't notice the, the fact that you're walking through a parking lot right now. More parking spaces over there. And then look at the giant dinosaur that Chester and Hester built. Look at this thing. It is a huge, like, I don't know, Brontosaurus. It is gigantic. And you have to walk underneath it to go through the back of this section of Dinoland USA. How cool. And even better, and something you will never not be able to see again if you come this way, the dinosaur even has nipples. Yeah, they gave, uh, they gave the dinosaur nipples. Okay, so that pretty much does it for the story of Dinoland USA, but there is still one more section I wanna show you guys. This is probably my son's favorite section of Dinoland USA. It is the Boneyard. Look at that. Fossil Fun Site established, there you go, 1947. This is where the dinosaur fossils were found. And now you can actually go inside here and play in this whole area and look for dinosaur fossils yourself. Look at this, the whole, all the scaffolding. How cool is that? The whole play area is set up to look like old scaffolding. And there are all kinds of fossils in the rocks over here, look at this. There's like a Triceratops over here. I don't even know what kind of dinosaur this is. There's a Jeep in the sand. There's all kinds of tunnels you can go through. Look at this, little little caves you can, you can go through and bump your head on because you're way, way too short. Oh my gosh, you can go this way as well. There's more dinosaur fossils on the walls. I mean, how interesting is this? This is why my son loves this section of the park so much. And honestly, even as a 41 year old, this is kind of why I love this section of the park so much. More dinosaur fossils in the process of being dug up here. More on the walls over there. Again, there's slides. You can go up inside here and come down the slides. I'm not gonna do that because again, I'm, I'm 41 years old and I know I'm gonna break something if I, if I try to go down all the different slides, but you can see, you like have to like walk in and out of these dinosaur fossils. There's like a Tyrannosaurus Rex right here. Yeah, that is what it is. A Tyrannosaurus right here. So your kids can, can come out here, read off all about a Tyrannosaurus Rex, walk underneath it, walk through it. This is too, too cool. And again, the slides, all the different things you can climb over and I know, wait, I think there's an easy ramp to get up there. I was gonna say, I know I'm gonna regret doing this, but there's another section I can show you guys. Look at that. Yeah, Ashley, this way. How cool is this? Love that. So if you walk up here, and fun story, this is where the, the one and only time I've ever lost my child. So my son was pretty young, three, four, I'm not gonna say three, he was pretty young. He was going down, I think it was like maybe this slide or maybe that slide he had to walk up like two sets of stairs and come down the slide and he was doing it we, we just let him go by himself we were like okay whatever you're only yes you're only three but we can keep an eye on you we can see you go up the two flights of stairs go down the slide and he did it like 10 times in a row he was having a blast he was having so much fun going up the stairs by himself down the slide by himself he was having a blast about the 11th time though he goes up the stairs never comes down and we start freaking out. We have no idea where Sean is. 
where did our kid go? What is happening? Turns out, we did not know about this part here. So we thought he was gonna go up the stairs, down the slide, up the stairs and down the slide. We did not know about this section right here. He decided that he was gonna take it upon himself to go do some exploring and walked this way, actually went over the bridge under the, I don't know, brontosaurus here. Look at that. You can walk under the dinosaur. So he walked underneath this dinosaur over the bridge and walked over into the fossil digging site. This is an area where you can actually dig up your own fossils, which is really, really cool. My son loves coming over, over here. He loves digging up the fossils. So again, we had no idea where he was. We walk over, we come down the stairs, and sure enough, he's right here digging up his own mammoth. He was playing in the sand with some buckets and some shovels. <laughs> we were like, Sean, what are you doing? Didn't even look up, didn't care. He was having the time of his life playing over here in the, uh, the fossil pit. We actually were told by a cast member when we started freaking out and we said, oh my gosh, where's, where's our kid? Look at the, the tank here, that's cool. Little, yeah, little details, I love it. We actually started freaking out and said, we can't find our son. The cast member went, happens all the time. He's probably over in the, uh, the dig site that we again had no idea even existed. So such a cool area, so much fun to play around over here. Kind of happy I'm not with my son at the moment because he would be wanting to play in here and it is really, really warm out today. And I do not feel like running around inside the, uh, the play area right now, but it is pretty awesome looking and it is a lot of fun if you are a kid or like me and just a kid at heart on maybe a day where it's not like 90 something degrees. All right, guys, so there you go. There's where the first fossils were found here in Dig County back in 19. 47 here at the at the boneyard that is awesome so there you go there's the story of how dino land usa came to be the really awesome amazing fictional story of how Diggs county became dino land usa how chester and hester abandoned their gas station decided instead to set up a a souvenir shop and build themselves one epic carnival slash amusement park in their in their parking lot why the old fishing lodge was turned into a restaurant restaurant asaurus why the dino institute set up shop here as well such a cool amazing place again with a really cool interesting backstory and honestly i feel that once you know the backstory of dino land usa it becomes about 1000 times more epic i've always been like i said in the beginning of the video i've always been a huge huge fan of dino land usa i just love dinosaurs so dino land usa is really really cool and really speaks to me but a couple of years after my first time ever visiting dino land usa digging into the research finding out this whole area had an amazing backstory i just fell in love with dino land usa even more it's just so cool and i want to show you something back here behind chester and hester's look at look at this there's an actual there's a gas pump back here as well stop your motor so this right here is where you would actually fill up your your gas tank back when this was chester and hester's gas station that is cool again cool interesting little little details like that they put here to really show you that this was once supposedly was once an old gas station look at this we should go back here as well this is the create creation cre no cretaceous am i saying that right trail the plants and animals you see along the trail have remained virtually unchanged since the late cretaceous the dinosaurs themselves were not as fortunate disappearing from the earth 65 million years ago i mean i was going to end this video but should we walk back here I think we should. I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys. I don't know if I've ever actually walked back on this trail before. I don't really recognize it. I don't think I've ever been back here. And from what I was reading, their collection of these, like these prehistoric plants, these plants that survived from the time of the dinosaurs and have remained virtually unchanged. This is apparently like the third largest collection of these plants in the world. That is so 
interesting. And again, I don't think I've ever actually walked back here before. I don't know why. Okay, so I have walked kind of over, I've been over in this area where Daisy is, but I don't think I ever really realized you could walk back this way and, and back that way. You can see the little trail signs. Somehow I've been there, but I've never walked back here. I guess I just thought maybe this was another way to get to, to the, uh, the dinosaur attraction and as such, never really walked back here before. And oh my gosh, look at this. That, it, oh, it is Chip and Dale right there. Look at that in their dinosaur costumes. Chipmunk Osaurus. That is cool. I love it. <laughs> Dale in his green costume. Chip in his, his purple costume. That is so cool. The kids love it as well. That is neat. And look at this right here. All these, again, little, little details, fun little things. Chipmunks, oh look at that. They're, so they're, the chipmunks are digging up things as well. They got their, their little lunch box of, of uh, acorns down there. And the chipmunks are digging up some fossils as well. Chip and Dale are also getting into the, the dinosaur fossil hunting here in Dino Land USA. This is cool. You, you walk around and you find new things every day. Like I said, I did not know this was even here and it's really cool to see all these old ferns and whatnot all these old plants again that have remained virtually unchanged since the time of the dinosaurs and speaking of dinosaurs look at this i don't even know what that is some kind of i was going to say it looks like a tyrannosaurus but it's um or i mean a, um, a stegos a stegosaurus a what am i trying to think of it looks like some other kind of dinosaur but it's not that is a completely different dinosaur triceratops that's what i was thinking of kind of looks like a triceratops but there's way more than three horns on these guys right here look at those i had no idea these were back here that is cool so neat i'm gonna walk around this way really quickly just because again i've never been back here before and i kind of want to see where this section leads i think it just leads back to um to chip and dale but i just i just want to make sure before I leave this area just to make sure I've seen everything. Again, there's Daisy Duck over there. You walk around here, get ready for fun. They love to play. Yeah, this just brings you back around to, to Chippendale back there. That is cool. Like I said, don't know how I completely missed this. I've had my picture taken over here with characters before and yet somehow never bothered to walk back that way. That was cool finding something new here at Disney's Animal Kingdom at Dino Land USA, my favorite section of all of Animal Kingdom. This place is too awesome. And quickly, before we go, let's see if the, uh, the Asian brown tortoise is out and the abdim stork. There's the abdim stork. There's a couple of them, actually. As far as the tortoise, I don't... Do you guys see a tortoise? It's probably hiding somewhere. There's a very big turtle back here somewhere, but look at that. Those are the storks. Pretty cool. All right, guys, there you go. Dino Land USA. I don't care what everybody says. The coolest section in all of Animal Kingdom. All right, guys, so that is gonna do it for the history of Dino Land USA, the foe made up by Disney Imagineers history of Dino Land USA in Diggs County. We're gonna walk down Route 498. One more time, the highway that used to run through this town, that still does run through this town, the highway that thousands and thousands and thousands of people walk upon every single day and probably don't even realize they're walking on a road, an old highway going through Diggs County. This used to be nothing more then a small little rinky-dink town, a little gas station off to the side where you could quickly stop, maybe you know, fill your car up, grab a bottle of soda or something like that, get on your way, you can use the restrooms, get on your way, travel through town from wherever you're coming from to wherever you're going, that is, until dinosaur fossils were found here over there, right over there in the boneyard back in 19... 47 and from there the town grew so many different 
Fossil Hunters came to town, the Dino Institute came to town, Restaurant Asaurus opened up, Chester and Hester abandoned their gas station, built a, an amusement park, built a carnival, built a, a souvenir shop, and then the Time Rovers were invented, and you could travel back in time to see the dinosaurs. So cool, so awesome, such an amazing, interesting, fascinating backstory to what is, in my opinion, the coolest section of all of Animal Kingdom that sadly, in the not too distant future, will itself, just like the dinosaurs, be going extinct. You can see all the, the dino, the Donald's Dino Bash. If you're wondering what that's about, a couple of years ago, the, um, they, they wanted to bring more kids to Animal Kingdom and they introduced the Donald's Dino Bash. The story goes, Donald found out that birds were related to dinosaurs and became very fascinated with that and decided to, to create the Donald's Dino Bash, again, a way to get more kids to come out here, see the characters and, and whatnot. I love it, it's cool. We're gonna walk under the giant dinosaur with the nipples one more time. I mean, they are just lights, but they're very weirdly placed lights. We're gonna walk into Chester and Hester's sort of again, carnival slash amusement park. Look at the, woo, <laughs> that's really, that's really cool. I love it. Fun house, wacky mirrors. <laughs> All right, guys, again, that is going to do it. There used to be a place, I think it was over here, if I'm not mistaken, where you used to be able to get churros. I don't know if you can still get churros here in Animal Kingdom. You used to right there. It was a cool little um, shop, which, yeah, I don't see it anymore. It was like a little, I think it looked like a little um, like trailer, like a little like, camper, and it had churros and stuff in it. It's not there anymore, unfortunately. I kind of want a churro right now. But all right, guys, that's going to do it. Awesome, amazing backstory to Dino Land USA. If you guys have ever been out here, leave your comments down below. Do you love or dislike Dino Land USA? What are your thoughts? Did you know the backstory to Dino Land USA? Leave your comments down below. But I wanna hear what you guys think of Dino Land USA. Are you sad it's going? Are you happy it's going? What they're gonna put in place at Dino Land does look pretty amazing, does look pretty epic. We're gonna get a really cool, beautiful, amazing new section of the park, but I, for one, am going to miss Dino Land USA, and I'm hoping they keep at least some of it intact. What exactly, I don't know, but at least some of it. If it, they could keep maybe like, you know, Restaurantosaurus or Chester and Hester's or something, I don't know. Keep a little bit of it. Keep the, the Dino Dig site, the, the Boneyard. Keep that intact, that would be really cool. But we'll have to just wait and see what happens. But again, if you guys have ever been out here, leave your comments down below. If, you were, if you've been on Primeval, Primeval Whirl, that's no longer there, if you've ever rode that, leave your comments down below. If you've ever won any of the carnival games, leave your comments down below. Just leave your comments down below about Dino Land USA in general. I wanna hear from you guys, but all right. I've been talking for a very long time. My horse, my horse is going throat. <clears throat> my dyslexia is working. My throat is going horse. I need to get myself something to, uh, my, my throat is going dinosaur. <laughs> I've gotta get myself something to, uh, to drink. So with that guys, I'm gonna let you go. So as always, Thank you all so much for checking out this video. Be sure to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, check down below for links to Patreon. If you guys do become a patron, I will send you a postcard every single month from the road. Also check down below for a link to Spreadshirt where you can grab yourself retro, rest stop t-shirts, proceeds, both from Spreadshirt and from Patreon do help support the show. And they do keep the show going, so I really do appreciate that. Also hit that join button and become a member of this YouTube channel and get early access to all my videos. All that stuff helps support the show and it keeps the show going. It brings us out to awesome places like this. So I really do appreciate it. And if you guys watch this video all the way until the very end, hashtag, hashtag dinosaur nipples. <laughs> hashtag dinosaur nipples. If you guys watch this video all the way until the very end. Whew, all right, it's warm. Thanks for watching. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. And if you do hit that subscribe button, then I will see you guys in the next video. And as Chester and Hester say, 
see you real soon. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye. Hold on. So before I let you guys go, I did say there was one thing I wanted to do, and Danielle's here as well. So of <laughs> course I have to do this now. I've got to get our photos taken in the uh, the photo booth here. We got to do the Chester and Hester's dinorama to uh, to remember what unfortunately might be going extinct in the not too distant future. So all right, we're gonna come inside the little photo booth here, which is very warm. Bye. By the way. <laughs> Woo. All right, oh so we- It's toasty. We swipe it's her hard, toasty. right? Did it work? Or do I tap it or something? Oh, there we go. Thank you. All right, that cost us seven whole dollars. Ah, oh, here, burning. here we go, so. Okay, you wanna do that? You can do your thing if you want. There you go, so, okay. Oh, it is, it is hot in here. All right, so how do we, we don't want Animal Kingdom, we, or we want color. How do we choose, is it one of those? Uh-oh, okay. No, that chooses that. So I don't know, we want color. Okay, all right. Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah, those, but how do we, do we hit okay? All right. There we go. Okay. All right. That took way too much effort. Okay. Here we go. Ready? Oh, right about, right about there. Okay. Ready? Yeah. All right. Five, four, three, two, one. This one. Oh my gosh, it is a sauna in here. Five, four, three, two, one. Right, another nice one. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay. Let's get out. Let's get out. Let's get out. Here, I'll take your bag. I got your bag. I'm saving you. I got your bag. Oh my gosh. Oh. Woo. So do we get our pictures or do they just go right to the photo pass? I'm hoping they, oh, we got them. Is that ours? No, really what? Awesome. We got other ch children's photos? So wait, my question is now that we did the photo pass, does ours still come out or do we have to, or do they just do photo pass? I'm hoping they go to both of them because I really want to get a, uh, the pictures. Oh, wow. It was really, what's this sound? Oh, printing, it's printing. All right, wow, it was really hot in there. Not that it's not really hot out here either. Oh, Got a dinosaur there? I did. So this is what the 47,000 one of these dinosaurs we have at home? Yes. Someday though, collector's item. This will be worth like a million dollars someday. <sighs> All right, is it still printing our pictures? Yes. Wow, I am, I'm dying now. <laughs> I thought it was hot out here. I thought it was glistening out here. No, 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 no. There we go. Oh, is it done? Looks that way. Those are not ours still. So where's our... Don't let your memory... Blah, 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 blah. Photo. Wow. Did we not get our pictures? Ha. Huh. Maybe they went right to our photo thing. Okay. <laughs> well. Do they come through? I was hoping for actual souvenirs. They did also not come through. Did we get gypped? Seems that way. Do I need to go ask my $7 back? Maybe. <laughs> and on that note. <laughs> that's, See you guys in the next video. Thanks, thanks for watching. Gosh darn it, Disney. All right, I'm gonna go get my $7 back. All right, thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.